tough times don't last, but tough people do. And that is something that, you know, we have to be mindful of because in this thing called life, um, things do happen. You have what you call force change uh, and there are also choice change, but some sometimes we didn't have anything to do with it. Um, so anyway, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Uh, one of the things that I used to one of the things you have to know about me, I can be a little bit dramatic at times. And sometimes I would just cry to the father, why me? Why me, Lord? Why? Why? And, um, you know, sometimes hard times come because of decisions we have made, because of disobedience, uh, because of ignorance of law, such as, you know, I mean, honestly, this is kind of common sense, but if you're eating potato chips, french fries, and honey buns all day, and then you end up developing a sickness, well, it's because you're violating some laws. You can speak in tongues until you turn blue, but if you're violating certain laws, then you're going to reap um, certain rewards uh, or consequences. And uh, so another reason why hard times come is because of impatience, just simply not, um, not allowing the process to process. <laughs> um, the scripture says that there is seed, time, and harvest. It's a process. Um, and, you know, the one of the beautiful things about gardening is honestly one of the best ways to just learn about life. But the seed, even though you may see a small seed, it's an apple tree when you put it in the ground or it has the power to produce, you know, a ton of apples or a ton of tomatoes, but there's time in between you sowing that seed and reaping the fruit. And so we have to be sure that we aren't becoming impatient. Um, and so when it, how that translates to prayer is when we come to the father, one thing that we have to understand is that Elohim is not controlled by time. He doesn't live in time. He put us in time. Now, I don't want to, um, you know, there's the religious saying, he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. And that has some truth to it, but we're not, we're not you know, into all of the religious euphemisms or, or however you want to put it. Um, however, it is important to note that Elohim is not controlled by time. Uh, I think about Shadrach, Meshach, and the big Negro <laughs> that always says, um, you know, when they were in that fiery furnace, I'm sure they would have greatly appreciated it if the father would have prevented them from even going in there. But he didn't. He allowed them to go in there, but yet they were not burned. And so um, to answer the question, why me? A better question is, why not you? Uh, you know, as ambassadors, Many times we are tested. The scripture talks about that. The testing of our faith produces patience. Um, and even in the, the story that I was just sharing with Shadrach, Meshach, and the, and the fire, Elohim was able to be glorified through their experience and because they did not doubt. It's the same thing, you know, with Daniel when he was in the lion's den. In the face of adversity, we are no different as ambassadors. And so, uh, you know, as it relates to prayer during hard times, we must remain steadfast, unmovable, speak the word. Join us every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Central for a power-packed teaching on prayer, followed by corporate prayer.